Hi, I'm Andy. Welcome or welcome back. I'm really happy that you're here. Today is my monthly collab with Miss Leanna Dalton. This is our monthly collab. We do this every month. Sometimes we do makeup looks. Sometimes we do lists. Sometimes we do tags. Uh, today's going to be a little bit of a combination. We're going to show you our top 10 favorite palettes for spring. And then we're going to show you a look that we created with one of those palettes. I am not ranking mine. I don't know if Leanna is or not. I am not ranking mine. Um, I did not use my favorite to do the look that I'm wearing today. I didn't. I used a palette that I do love, um, but is not my favorite of all of these. I'm basically showing you these um, from smallest to biggest. I just have them stacked over here. So I'm just showing them to you that way. And at the end, I will show you how I achieved this look. So let's just go ahead and get started. I will be swatching a couple of shades in each palette because that's fun and I love swatches and they're pretty. The first palette that I'm going to show you, again, these are not ranked, just the one first one I'm showing you, is the Natasha Denona. This is the Mini Starlet. And I do love this palette. You can see that I have used it quite a bit. Um, more so in the shimmers, I think you can see because the mattes are kind of hard pressed. Uh, not that that's not a bad thing. I haven't been using this a lot lately because with the exception of this shade here, um, these shades are identical to the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Quad. And that is my pan that palette for this year. So this one might not see a whole lot of love this year just because they're so similar and, um, I'm trying to use up that palette because I don't need two of these color stories. So there's that one. Um, I do really like this shade. What is this shade called? I believe this is called Galaxia, this shade right here. And it is just a really pretty light, neutrally shimmer, but it is beautiful because it's Natasha. It's very pretty. I always go all swatching all willy-nilly and don't bring any, don't get any wipes out. The next one I'm going to show you is the Peach Out palette from ColourPop. This was sent to me from Just Janet. Love this palette. This was on my list. This one and one of the other peach ones was on my list. Um, it was actually the Coast to Coral. But anyway, this is my only nine pan that survived my uh, depotting frenzy because these are not magnetic and I couldn't get them out and didn't want to destroy the packaging and possibly destroy the shades because it's beautiful. I actually used this uh, last week on my Instagram and uh, I love it. It's beautiful. It is such a pretty peach palette. Let me swatch this shade for you called, it's called On Vacay. It's this middle, this middle peach right here. It probably has the most impact of everything in, in the palette. Very pretty, very spring, very spring. Next up is the Natasha Denona Retro Glam Palette. This was sent to me by Mary Catherine Loves Cats. And it is beautiful. It is a beautiful spring palette. These greens and pinks are so pretty together. I'm learning to embrace the greens, you guys. I was very much anti-green a year ago, and I started getting outside my comfort zone and using more greens, and I really do like them. And I, after looking through some of my palettes um, in preparation for this video, these types of greens are very unique to my collection. I don't have a lot of green anyway, but most of the greens that I do have are very bright greens. They're like... Um, shamrock greens, Irish greens. They're very green. They're not these muted sagey tones. And I think that this is just beautiful. I have used this uh, in a get ready with me on my channel. It's just so pretty. Let's swatch. What's, what shade are we going to swatch? Let's do one of the greens. I'm going to swatch this green shade called Marlin. Oh, that's so pretty. Can you see that? Yeah, that's so pretty. It's such a pretty muted green. I love the muted greens. Next up is the 
Huda New Nude Palette. Now this palette can kind of go either way. It can be a good winter palette, but uh, it is also a really pretty spring palette because you have these light pastels. And I'm not a huge pastel person, you guys. There are certain shades that I like to blend out other shades as far as pastels goes. Goes. As far as pastels go. There we go. Um, but I really love mauves. I am a mauve girl. And even though berries can tend to go a little winter, I do love these four shades together in a look with one of these these shimmers here. So pretty. I love this. I picked this up at, I'm going to swatch this shade right here. And it is called Fantasy. And I picked that up on sale at Ulta. That is what that looks like. There is a shift to it. So pretty. No, I didn't. I didn't pick it up at Ulta. I picked it up at Sephora for like $30. They had it on super duper sale and uh, I couldn't pass it up. I really, really wanted this. Next up is also from Huda and it is the Mercury Retrograde. This is the one that I was going to use today for an eye look and I don't know. I was just, I started doing an eye look with it and I wasn't feeling it, but I do love this palette. It is one of my favorite palettes that I own, but today, today was just not it. Today I wasn't feeling it. But this is what it looks like, and it is beautiful. These can also go summer, but I just think with these light pinks and the light teals or the aqua shades or turquoise or whatever you want to call it. Um, plus, you have this really pretty peach right here. I think this is a beautiful, beautiful spring palette. I am going to... Uh, I'm going to swatch the ultraviolet shade. It is the... The purple shade right here. I was bound to determined I was not doing a purple look today because I've done so many purple looks lately. This uh, shade also has a flip to it and there it is right there. I don't know if you can see the shift on that but it is gorge. Gorge. Okay those we got five down and five to go. The next palette that I love for spring is the Spoiled Cosmetics, Spoiled Lips Cosmetics. So this is the Nevermore palette. This is volume 19. And I freaking love this artwork so much. I think it's beautiful. This was given to me from CC at Panning for Goals. I previously owned this and I had to throw it away due to mold issues. Now, I don't think it had to do with the company. I think it was my own thing. Um, when I was in that other room, uh, it would get very hot in the summer before we got our new HVAC system. And I think the, we have a very humid summers here in Ohio. And I think that that had something to do with it because there were a couple that, that showed some mold. So they had to go, but this is what this palette looks like. And I love, I love muted spring tones, muted mauves. Um, like that, say the sage greens, um, this muted purple right here, lavender shade, you have some muted teals and greens down here. I just think that this is such a beautiful, beautiful palette. I am so happy uh, that it was replaced and she didn't even know. She didn't even know that, uh, that I had it first of all, and that I had had to get rid of it, but she, I believe this was birthday. Um, I'm going to swatch this shade right here. Um, did, they don't have shade names, but it is one of my favorite shades in this palette. Oh, dang it. I just put it over the purple. Dang it. It is right here. It is a pink to gold, like flip. It's gorge. I really do love this palette. Another thing about this palette is it's very hard pressed. So, like I've used this palette so many times. You can tell in the shimmers, um, but you can, you can't really tell in the mattes that it's been used, but it has. Oh, this purple. Let me, let me swatch this purple, this purple right here. It is so pigmented and so pretty. I have sleeves on, so I don't, you're not gonna be able to look how, look how pigmented that is. That's crazy. That's crazy. 
I really do like the Spoiled Lips formula. Um, Ash actually had given me several of their Spoiled Lips palettes because uh, they're like me. Uh, if I have a bad customer service experience with someone, they're kind of dead to me. And they had a bad customer experience with Spoiled. And so they gave me some of their palettes and I really enjoyed using them. Next palette I'm going to show you is the Ace Beauté Palette It is so pretty and I love the shade names. This is very nostalgic. The shade names are all around like 80s pop culture, but man, what a great spring palette. The shimmers in this, I love Ace Beauté's formula, I do, um, but the shimmers in this are a little bit more special than some of the other palettes that I have from them. And let's do, actually, let's do this acid wash right here. This, it's like a bluey, greeny purple. Um, it does have quite the flip to it, and it's very, very pretty. I love that. I love that shade. You know, I'm not a big blue person. You know, I'm not, but I love looking at them. I think blue eyeshadows are so stunning. Blues and teals. I love them. I just don't like wearing them. Whatever. Whatever, you guys. I'm not even... I don't know why. I don't know why. But yes, this is a beautiful spring palette. The yet bright yellows, the bright pinks. I just think it's it's just something very special. And I'm so happy that I bought it. I bought that with the board game and I've never played it. I, I mean, I'm not going to play it by myself. That's boring. But uh, I've never played it and it's just sitting in a box. But I'm, I was happy to have, I'm happy to have the palette. The next palette I'm going to show you for spring is the Glam Light Ice Cream palette. I got this on sale big time as well. And this had been on my list for a while. Uh, the packaging is adorable. It actually, the outer packaging is an ice cream truck, which I still have the packaging on that. But look at this. Glam Light's formula is just I, I just really love it. It's one of my favorites, but how about that for spring? You have the bright greens, you have the bright turquoise, the bright pinks, you have this bright orange up here and the yellows. And I just think that even though I'm not a pastel person, I think these are beautiful shades and I do like pastels to blend out other shades. So I will pull a more pastel y palette to blend out other shades, but I think this is so beautiful. What are we going to swatch? Let's swatch this bright yellow. Uh, it's called lemon. It's called lemon. It's uh, that shade right there. We're going to swatch that. Oh, that's so pretty. Glam light shimmers are just something very special to me. I think they're great. They're great. Next up, we have the Blend Bunny Blends Palette. I know that this palette can be used. Any shades can be used all year round. Nobody's the boss of you. You do what you want. You do what makes you feel beautiful. I do tend to, tend to stick to, I do tend to stick to, um, seasons. I do. I feel, I feel more inspired by seasonal shades. I do. But I mean, you know, I wear cool neutrals all year round, so it doesn't really matter. But the Blends palette, this is an all matte palette, and it took me forever to use this palette because I wasn't inspired because it was all mattes. I'm like, wait a minute. I have all these shimmer shades that I love that are getting neglected all willy nilly. And so I started using it and it is beautiful. You have so many potential spring looks in here. You, if you're going toward pastels, you have these pastels here. You have bright shades. You have this bright pink. You have this amazing purple. This purple is the most used shade in this palette. And really a whole complete look, blending out shades, transition shades. Like you have everything you need. So if you have this palette and it and you don't use it because of of all the mattes because it's an all matte palette, bust it out. Uh, get your super shocks out. Get some of your beautiful shimmers out, your duochromes, multichromes, whatevs. Get those out and use it with this palette. Okay, the last palette that I have to show you 
is what I used for this look today. It is the Morphe 9V Vintage Rose Palette. I love this. This is such a beautiful, romantic pink color story. I love this palette so much. It was given to me by Lori Latimer um, years ago, like two to three years ago. Uh, we did a collab using this palette. Um, as you can see, she is very well loved. And I reach for this so often because when I wear it, I feel pretty. Every time I wear this palette, Anthony compliments my makeup. Every single time. Every single time. It doesn't fail. And today was no different. So yeah, this is such a beautiful, beautiful palette. So to create the look that I'm wearing now, um, it's been hours since I did it. And I'm trying to remember what order I did. But I did set my eyes with the Ace Beauté eyeshadow primer. And I set it down with this shade here, which I'm not, I don't believe I showed that on video, but maybe. And then I went into this shade. They don't have any shade names, but I went into this shade here and I put that in my crease area, transition area, outer part of my lid. I just kind of swept it almost all over my lid, not, not the center or the inner corner, but pretty much all over. And then I blended it out with this shade right here. I wish they had shade names. It would be a lot easier to show you. This was not what I wanted. This was a little too not pink. It was a little too beige for what I wanted, but it was okay. And then I went in my outer corner with these two shades here. I kind of bounced back and forth and blended them together on my brush and did this as my outer corner. And then for the lid, I went into this shade right here, which is, as you can see, my favorite shade in this palette. And I used that on the center part of my lid. And then I went into this really light pink shade and I put that in the front part of my lid. And that's pretty much the look I do every time I use this palette. Now there are times where I will use this, this shade on like the outer part of my lid um, to kind of complement this and give it a little bit of shimmer. But for the most part, uh, that is, this is the look that I create with this. I think it's a very pretty, a very romantic look and definitely a very spring look. So those are my top 10 favorite palettes for springtime. I will be utilizing all of these this spring. I will be bringing them into my Shop My Stash. A couple of them are already in my Shop My Stash. So coming up April, May, uh, I will be using every one of these if I haven't already. I will be using every one of these. So don't, you guys don't forget to go over and check out Leanna, see what her top 10 palettes are. As always, her video is linked in the description box below. I really appreciate you being here. And until next time, everyone have a great day and we'll see you later.